find you a shipwreck? There is something. I think we can all definitely agree this is man-made. Wow. So I've been doing this for nine and a half years and I've always wanted to find a shipwreck. How long's the ship, do you know? 38 meters to about 10 wide. And this didn't show up in the multi-beam. This multi-beam was gridded at 50 meters resolution, so we were unable to see this target when planning, but we did pick the highest slope to do this test engineering dive on and luckily stumbled upon it, but it wasn't in the grid that we had. This is exploration at its finest. It's amazing the craftsmanship that used to go into these. What we're actually looking at is the bottom of the hull of a ocean-going wooden sailing vessel. The upper portions have been consumed by marine organisms because they weren't copper sheet. That copper was there to protect the hull during its sailing life. And by the 1830s, pretty much everybody that's going to do a deep ocean voyage is coppered. Just looking at this style, this, the thickness of this copper, the size of these guys, I'm thinking we're probably a little later in the 19th century, more towards about 1850. That's just a guess based on the copper alone. There's all sorts of things that we have to look at. What you got on the edge there? Those are numbers. 2109. Well, it looks like we found a name for the wreck. wondering if this is burned wood here. It may very well be burned, Joe. It's a good observation. This wreck is remarkably free of artifacts. It almost makes you wonder if this was at the end of its life and it just was easier to burn it. Who knows? I mean, there's all sorts of questions. We all just want to thank you guys for, one, finding this on a shakedown engineering dive to uh, getting us all linked in and the opportunity to do this. It's a great start to the season.